Hi, my name's Colin. Hi, I'm Patrick. Hi, I'm Michael. Hi, I'm Rory. And today we're going to talk to you about adolescence and puberty from the University of Limerick. I remember when my kid was 12, he was a joy to deal with, but as soon as he turned 13, everything changed, and I don't know what to do with him. Right, class, today we're going to be covering adolescence in puberty. <laughs> Today I'm going to take you through an introduction to adolescence and puberty. Adolescence is the time between the beginning of sexual maturation, aka puberty, and adulthood. Adolescents experience changes during puberty which include emotional, psychological, physical, social, and mental. Adolescence in puberty. Puberty is the time in a person's life when their sexual and reproductive organs mature. This means they become capable of creating babies. Before any physical ch changes occur, hormones begin to be produced inside the body of both boys and girls, meaning they're unaware of the changes going on. These hormones affect many different things, including sexual development, brain development, and growth. Adolescence and puberty is a shift from childhood to adulthood. Changes occur at a, f at a fast and alarming rate and are different for both boys and girls. Change is natural, but adolescents need to know that they are not alone in this phase of their life. Teachers are required to teach through puberty in adolescence and this phase of development. For this reason, it is important for us as educators to understand what a person is going through and how educators can help through this phase. Now I'm going to talk to you about puberty in boys. Puberty first begins in young males around the age of 12 right through to the age of 19. The first signs of development, also known as puberty, are the enlargement of both testicles. After this beginning of puberty, boys will start to experience many changes to his body. These changes include faster growth, especially height, hair growth all around the body, increased shoulder width, growth of penis, nighttime ejaculations and voice changes. During puberty, relationships with siblings and parents um, often become strained. This can be down to factors which involve physical and emotional changes within the young adolescent. School is the arena for uh, many of young adolescents' actions, and many of these actions do not include schoolwork. From the image above, we can see a young boy maturing through puberty. Okay, today I'm going to talk to you a bit about girls in puberty. Um, girls on average begin puberty two years ahead of boys, usually between the ages of 10 and 11. Late maturing girls experience very few problems when compared to early maturing girls. Early maturing girls tend to maintain a negative self-appraisal and this can heighten the chance of psychological distress and depression. Early maturing girls tend to be drawn into older friendship groups and are attributed greater maturity than is warranted. These, behavior, uh, these groups are characterized by riskier behaviors and are powerful distractions to a girl's academic achievement. Early maturing girls have a more difficult transition into second level, and a student that has a bad start may struggle to catch up and run the risk of being identified as a poor student, which then leads to a student being more likely to drop out or earn lower grades. This early pubertal timing can affect girls' lives long after the advanced development has faded in areas such as socio socioeconomic attainment, family formation and health. Apparently, if you drink and smoke underage, you are part, you are part of the cool kids. I'm going to take it through how puberty affects the body and mind of an adolescent. I'm going to focus in on the effects that it has on the sleeping pattern of an adolescent. Increased sleep is needed for the body to grow Lack of sleep can lead to the adolescent being irritable, depressed, and it can increase impulsive behaviour. Adolescents are more likely to stay up late, play video games, and be on social media networks. So I'm going to move on now to the mind. The mind of an adolescent has increased grey matter, which peaks during the early onset of puberty. This begins early, earlier for girls compared to boys, as they experience puberty, puberty earlier. Um, these changes of the brain lead on to development of the prefrontal cortex which is linked to judgment, um, controlled impulses, emotions and setting of goals. Dopamine's release neurotransmitters which 
move towards a more thrilling experience which can lead to risk taking, drug abuse, drink driving and risky sexual behaviour. Moving on to our quick fire quiz, we have two contestants. I'm Terry, I'm a qualified maths teacher. I'm Robert, I'm a trainee teacher. Now we're going to see who has the knowledge in the area of adolescent and puberty. Chase on boys. What is puberty? Buzz. So it's when uh, sexual and um, reproductive organs mature. Correct. Who begins puberty first? Boys or girls? Big boys. Uh, girls. Correct. What changes occur in the brain that affect sleeping patterns? Buzz. The circadian rhythm changes. Correct. Name three physical changes in males during puberty. Beep. Uh, voice deepens, um, muscle mass increases, and uh, grow to pubic hair. Correct. What occurs first during puberty? Mental or physical changes? Buzz. Uh, mental changes. Correct. Name three effects caused by a girl reaching puberty early. Name three effects that lack of sleep can have on an adolescent. Be uh, irritable, uh, depression, uh, impulsive behaviour. Correct. Name three types of change in an adolescent during puberty. Uh, Buzz. So there's mental change, emotional change, and physical change. Correct. What part of the brain is developed during puberty? Buzz. Uh, prefrontal cortex. Correct. Why may adolescents not seem engaged during early classes in school? Buzz. Uh, lack of sleep. Correct. I'm here to present the winner, Robert Dorn, trainee teacher on our quick fire round. Congratulations. Well, hey! <laughs> to summarise, adolescence in puberty is a major phase in a person's life, and it is definitely not nutty. Adolescents have difficulty dealing with change and mood swings, and they go through different stages of insecurity. All adolescents deal with change differently, and it's important for us to understand this. It is a time of identity formation, as Ericsson 2011 articulates. There are four steps in which we believe adolescents should take whilst going through puberty. The first is talk to someone. All adults have been there and can help you, and friends are going through the same thing at the same time. Second is a balanced diet. We believe that you should refrain from eating junk food and using stimulants drinks such as caffeine, and coke and fizzy drinks. More sleep is important as Michael earlier articulated and your circadian rhythm changes so you're up later and you're going to bed with less sleep. You still have to get up at the same time for school. Four, it's a pathway for the rest of your life, a taxing journey of growing up and remember that you are not alone and there's people there to help. To summarize, brain is helping the body to grow. If the, the brain has been flooding the body with hormones, hair growth, smell, acne, randomly crying, all the time occur. We need to foster an environment for smooth transition of change and puberty is required to be treated with respect by educators and all adults alike. Teachers need to be aware of what is going on and how to react to behaviours in the classroom. Know how to deal with these changes and behaviours in a positive manner is essential. That's us. Thanks very much for watching.